ladies and gentlemen I've set my tent up for a trip that I don't know what's gonna happen because I've looked for the trailhead and it's not there one of those issues where there's been a bunch of logging and the trails been overrun signs are taken down it's pretty far back into the woods I think I just saw a, a wolf cub cute little guy but I am experiencing bliss because I've set up my mosquito net and these mosquitoes are everywhere except on me it's great I'm gonna fix some dinner now life has been good lately I'm trekking with lots of new gear very happy there we have one of my camo bandanas let's see what else there that's a nice new shiny stainless steel cup and right there is one of my brand new tent steaks those are the best steaks ever two bucks a pop I love it I bought 12 new gear we've got the mosquito net I haven't been bothered once since I got in here I'm so happy what else um, new socks we got oh a couple nice there's a new Gore-Tex jacket there's a new fleece jacket that thing is that thing is like Kevlar man what else And me, I'm new, brand new me. Hooray for new gear. Hello there. I've set up my camp. I am on Blue Lake, a place that I've been desiring to visit for now a few years. It's up high, it's at about 4,500 feet. There's a uh, creek drainage down below that I've hiked many times. Um, the trail is pretty hard to find and uh, there's the lake I don't know if you can see beautiful breeze coming off the lake blowing the bugs away it's about four o'clock I'm gonna take a nap I hiked about four miles or so today really nice mosquitoes starting to bug me Here's a nice meadow above this lake. Some water streaming through it. There's some cliffs you can see. I got a glimpse of the lake from the trail which is on top of that ridge. And I came straight down. Luckily I didn't hit any cliffs. I was kind of surprised I didn't. I came right down the middle through that draw there. I'm going to take a walk around the lake, hopefully find a trail to follow tomorrow. Real pretty, look at that reflection. Oh, I stepped in the water. The creek's coming out. Beautiful up here. Amazing. Walked around the lake, I found my exit trail over here. That's good news. So I didn't want to have to climb that. What I came down, I was so lucky. It's just sheer rock faces on both sides. And that came right down the middle. Here's a natural bridge right across this wet spot. There's a waterfall up here. I can hear it. And it must be going underground into the lake. That's the water to get.
Somebody cut this down. This has been a very relaxing time. Oh, there is the best spot to have. This is where that creek comes out. It goes underground up there. Oh yeah, this is the place. Ooh, look at this camp spot. Now I wish I would have been patient and walked down that trail. This is nice. Probably gets that early morning sun. I'm about a quarter mile that way. And tucked into the trees. It's okay. Walking through a very nice meadow above the lake. I expect to see some animals. Maybe they heard me coming. Right here there's a place that an animal was resting. The grass is all pressed down. I see a lot of these ash hummus pellets that were blasted here from Mount St. Helens. And this whole this whole rise here, my guess is. Just a big mound of those pellets that have washed down over the years. There's that cliff face that I mentioned. Look at that draw right through the middle there. Wow. That's where a bunch of the water comes down. The snow. And the debris. Look here. Definitely a favorite spot for elk or deer. One, two, three, four, five resting places. And there the grass was eaten. Well, I bet you they're nearby. When I was hiking the trail earlier, I saw one up here, a female. When I came down this steep incline, I was following an animal trail, zigging down and this and that, and I figured, well, they must be able to come down, I'll follow that trail. Sure enough. There's a jet practicing, I've heard them. I can't see it, it's low, it's low in that valley. The times that I've been here before, I've heard those military jets practicing, they must run from Seattle to Portland. And this is the least populated area, right through here. As you can see, I have my mosquito net up. It is a very nice vestibule sticking out from my tent. Just as high as my tent. It's perfect. There aren't that many bugs here. But there are some and they were bugging me. Not like last night though. Woo -woo. hearing some coyotes down in this valley. Heck, it could be wolves from what I saw yesterday. There's Mount Adams. Way off over here. Let's see if this helps. Well, it helps a little. Straight out there's Jumbo Peak. This might be Hat Rock and then there's Yellow Jacket. Over here, that's Craggy Peak, you can see. 
finally got my ass going today. Decided to leave my tent at Blue Lake. All my gear, equipment is there. I've just got a light day pack. The best choice. I'm full of energy. It's great. Beautiful day. Well, I've been trekking here about two, three miles. It seems like more. And I've been going for about two and a half hours and haven't really taken any breaks. But it's time to turn around, go back to the camp. About 1.30, almost 2 o'clock. <sighs> Pretty cool. I'm on the boundary trail. Got some peaks right here. I think that's called Craggy Peak. Got a bunch of other peaks over here, Mount Adams. Uh, goat rocks way in the distance. And there's Shark Rock through the trees, if you can see, I don't know. It's been a great day hike. Excellent place to take a break. I'm wrapping up my day hike situated right now in a patch of Indian hellbore. You can see all around the plants. They smell when in bloom like a sweet melon like cantaloupe. Just amazing to walk through a meadow of this plant but it is also very deadly poisonous to humans to ingest. Definitely will kill you. So down here we have Straight Creek Basin. I hiked up from Blue Lake where my tent is and all my gear. And Blue Lake is situated between these two buttes, kind of the semicircle you see over here. It's just dropped straight down on the other side. And the trail, basically the only trail, well there's two trails out of there. The one that I wanted to follow out of there comes around this side and up through this meadow beautiful meadow and the meadows kind of cascade around the side and I could just spend days down there beautiful I think I'm gonna try to find a different way out of Blue Lake because I need to go that way and the trail is up at the top of that butte there and I think I can follow the other ridge up the side I saw an elk over there, and I think that's what they do. They run up that ridge. And it's been an excellent, excellent day. A day hike, probably five, six miles. But this was the, the most interesting thing I found on this trip so far. I've been buzzed by hummingbirds many times on this trip. I must find my hat to look like a flower. It might be kind of sweet if they licked it. Just a couple minutes ago. Probably the most startling one. They just buzz right in and it's close. And then they realize it's some asshole human and then they take off. Looks good, but man, there's way too many elk elk patties up there. Gonna head on through this meadow. See, I think this is the trail that's supposed to take you to Blue Lake. And what has happened within the last probably 10 or 20, 15 years is uh there's been a clear cut hmm, about a half a mile from Blue Lake just on the other side so people don't need to come all this way they can just come up from a road 
have fun at Blue Lake. Yeah, there's no sign of the trail through here. It often gets washed away in meadows. I came up from the draw. Through here, the water's flowing. You can see the faint sign of a trail here. I actually saw this from on top of that ridge. The trail's at the top. I saw this trail on the other side of the meadow. I came up through there. So, aha, I see where it crosses. Hey, I'm just gonna roll with this until the batteries die. Surprising all the garbage I've seen up here. Okay, well, of course, some dirt bike tracks. Well, I'll pick it up a little later. Well, this has been kind of an adventure because this trail that I want to take is hardly used, hard to find. And I like that stuff. Right on the tip of that tree, there's a pink tag. So the trail actually used to run right through here. And it goes right up there. And what I did when I came through here the first time is I left a marker as to where to pick the trail up at the other end of this clearing. You can see I set the sticks up here, sort of directing me into the brush. And here, you can barely even tell that there was a trail here. But this is cool. And this is how the trail is all the way back. That's Pretty used here, but mostly by elk. Kind of steep. All right. A lot of blowdowns. I see the trail goes this way. Oftentimes trails are easier to follow when you're going downhill as you can see You can see but if you're going uphill It's a little harder to find them. Now this was a confusing thing here When I first came to this Mini meadow I had no clue where to go Isn't that nice? Now that's some nice cold water right there but I'm just gonna hop the creek around the snow and goes up that way. Okay, so the adventure continues. I was just thinking that this would be such a cool place to come to and just write a book. No one would come down here. Nobody would come down here, man. You could, if you had enough food, you could stay here. Maybe until hunting season, then the guys are everywhere. This is sweet. This is a nice find, I'm glad.